This project right here is a small copper bus bar piece. It's silver coated. This is a half inch wide by, I'm not, I don't remember how thick it is right now, it doesn't really matter. Um, by 100, 130 thousandths thick by half an inch wide. I have a gauge pin in here. This is a .081 in the hole. I've measured from the top to the top of the pin and calculated from the center of the hole to the top here, I'm 159 thousandths. I want that to be uh, 100 thousandths. So I'm gonna, this is a 31 thousandths blade uh, cutoff saw. I'm gonna touch off on the top, then, then uh, bring it down uh, 59 thousandths, and I'm gonna just cut a little bit off the top here. I could use the end mill, but I got, I gotta cut a bunch of little pieces off of here. So I'm just gonna make a cut off the top of that, and then we'll move it down so that the first piece is 200 thousandths thick. And I'm gonna end up with a bunch of little bars. Do this all in one cut. Very nice. Come out good. Looks pretty even. Now only about I don't know, 20, 30 of these to go. Something like that. Quite a few. This one's uh, been cut off. And then a quick little uh, bevel, or I should say just deburring the edges. Uh, the end of the tube and the, the little bars on the scotch bright wheel we're ready to uh set the needle in here so now when i put that needle in it doesn't go in all the way and then just uh i'm going to tap it down in there and it's going to be nice and tight and expand that little tubing a little bit and mix it nice and tight i do that over the vise here okay there we go. Fits in there just beautiful. And that one's going to go right there. Just like that. And we pull out all the cord basically. Kind of retain it here so it doesn't retract in. Cut the end off. This stuff frays real easy, so I put a little drop of super glue on the end. So the needle part gets strung on loose, and I tie a special little knot called a loop knot. I also tie my flies on the same way. extremely good knot this since I started using this knot I don't think I've ever lost a fish because of a knot failure this knot is the strongest knot I swear out there for tying on a fly plus it's loose it doesn't uh, it allows the fly to move around freely and I think that in, has improved actually catch rates Got that excess off. Another drop of super glue on there just so it doesn't fray too much.
undo this. There we go. Another tool. Nice and easy to carry with you. Nice and lightweight. Stick in your pocket. You won't have to get stabbed. And uh, I can't think of much else to show you on that, but that's about it. Pretty simple. I think everybody will like one of these. Pretty fun. Anyway, I only have about 15 more to go. <laughs> I've already got six or so, eight. Uh, four, five, six, seven. I think that's this was the ninth one. I'll probably do another 12 or 15 more. So, thank you for uh, watching there. And uh, there's a new fishing tool for you. Pretty cheap. I'm going to demonstrate the nail knot tool uh, I made for my friends. Uh, I did not invent this. I uh, saw one and I made my version of it. So, what I have here is some fly line. And this is 20 pound test amnesia. This is a monofilament. Uh, Supposedly a memory-free monofilament. It works good for shooting heads. It's cheap. And it lasts a, lasts you a couple of years uh, per shot. This is a 200-foot roll, and I usually don't put any more than 100 feet uh, on or roughly around that. So you can get uh, a couple loads out of that, or and you can flip it around to and for end. So anyway, so here's the tool. There's the needle, the tube. I usually pull this out and retain the, the cord a couple times around the clip. Makes it easy. Pull the needle out of the way. Got bugs in the shop here this morning. Some people call them no see -ems. We call them dog pecker flies. And you can just imagine why we call them that. So you take the tube. Lay the fly line parallel to the tube. Take your amnesia or whatever you're going to tie on there. Lay it parallel in the opposite direction. <sighs> Bugs are bad. Pinch the whole works. Wrap the amnesia. I'm going to wrap the amnesia around. Get it started here. Back along itself. Five to six times. Uh, for this size line, works well. It's five, uh, six there. Uh, smaller stuff you can go more, seven or eight times. Back down the tube. And then push it down, and you're going to pull that whole tube out of there. And then you have your tag end over here on the back side. Keep it pinched between your fingers. Work the two ends slowly, a little snugger, so you can open it, open up your fingers. Lubricate it with a little spit. Works good. Work it a little tighter until you feel comfortable that you can let go of it and it stays formed up. You'll have to push that together sometimes a little bit. And pull it at the same time, both ends. My fingers are slippery this morning. I'm having a hell of a time pulling, but there we go. There's your knot, a nail knot. Get it nice and tight and test it. I don't know how that looks, but try to get a little closer. I don't have macro or anything. But that's it. And you can just put undo their cord and back together away it goes. 
Hands your nail knife. Uh, you can trim these nice and close, pretty much. Ready to fish. Pretty simple knot. Thank you. The tool, nail knot tool. This is a view number two, just try to give you a different perspective. Remove the needle, so we're going to use just the tube portion. I wrap the cord around the clip a couple times just to hold it out of the way. There's the needle. Fly line. We're using the amnesia. Laying it opposite there, parallel. Wrap around, back along itself. Very hard to show this, but hard to get even get it going sometimes here. Five to six times around. Sorry. Usually sufficient with this size line. Here, I'll try to show you. Now we're going to stick it the tag end of the amnesia back down the tube. Push the whole works back out the other way. And we have the tag end now sticking out over here, right over here. Then we're going to work them each end snug to like can let go a little bit, lube it up, a little spit works good. Pull it a little tighter, work them till you feel you can let go. You might have to align them a little bit. Use your fingernail and pull tight at the same time together. My fingers are rather slippery this morning. But anyway, pull it tight. There we go. Trim. There's your nail knot. Pretty quick, pretty easy with the right tool. Anything will work. Plastic tubing I've used. I've used soda straws. But this one here is small, easy to carry with me. It doesn't collapse, which is nice. The stainless steel tube hypodermic needle. So that's it. And I can see I left I only took off the point. I left that open at at the slight angle that it's been ground for the hypodermic needle and it makes it easier to stick in there. Actually it works pretty well. Stow the needle back and you're off and running. Hopefully that's a view from a different angle. Alright, thanks a lot.